What's up guys, my name is Jake and today we're going to be going over how you can completely fix stutter issues when using Crossover to play games on your MacBook Pro. Ever since I've been using Crossover, stutter is something that has caused problems for me and made the games a little bit less enjoyable. We are going to be using Crossover, so if you're new to the program, definitely check the link in the description. If you use that link to make a purchase, it really helps the channel. And I will also link my full tutorial on how to use Crossover there. And just to get right into it, I want to show you guys exactly what the difference is when you're playing on this upgrade that we're about to make. As you can see, as I'm taking down these freaking, these looters, these terrible people, we're getting a lot of stutter. And that's because this is a new environment. The shaders are trying to compile as fast as they can, but the DXVK is just not working fast enough for us. Uh, we're running generally between 50 and 60 frames per second. It's a little bit lower right now because I'm recording and that's gonna take up a little bit more of the resources of the computer. But the thing about uh, shader compilation is if I was to leave and then come back to this area, it would be perfectly fine, but because it's the first time that we are here, it's causing a bunch of stutter. Okay, so we are now back to this area. I rebooted the game, and uh, we're using a new Steam bottle. For you fancy, fancy pants smart people, you could probably look at the top left corner and figure out what's going on. But we haven't we haven't gone to this area yet. We are about to fight these same guys, and you can see, like. We are virtually stutter free, and it's pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So you can upgrade the DXVK. Crossover 21.1 natively ships with 1.7.14, and the latest version is actually 1.9.2. It's really hard to plan on trackpad and talk to you guys while I'm while I'm trying to kill people in the game. The latest version is 1.9.2 and we can actually download this from the internet from the creators of DXVK and we can implement it into crossover and get these amazing stutter free benefits. The team that develops DXVK actually states in their GitHub download page that this patch is designed to basically fix all DXVK related stutter in the game. So it's pretty freaking sweet, as you can see. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how we can install this into your crossover so you can have stutter free gameplay. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna want to do is we're gonna take your original Steam bottle and we're going to right click and we are going to duplicate it. For me, I would like to name it Steam DXVK test or something like that so you know exactly uh you know that this is the test bottle i've already done this so i'm actually going to name it test two this is really important to do because if we do anything that messes up the steam bottle if you if you put a lot of work into your into your steam bottle we don't want to mess that up so we can just we can take all of that stress away by just copying the bottle and then using the copy of it to create the new one. All right, now that that's finished up, you should be able to see that your new bottle is has been created. And if this side menu bar is not available, uh, you can just make sure to click the little bottles in the top left corner and that will pull up this menu for you. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to the DXVK GitHub page and the link for that will be in the description. And we're going to want to download the latest version, 1.9.2, compatible with the async patch. And they say it removes almost all DXVK cause stutter by default, which is awesome. So we're going to click this top link, DXVK 1.92. Mac async, and it's going to download and it's going to extract itself in our downloads folder. And I want you to go up to the menu bar and we are going to click go to a folder. What folder you might ask? <laughs> this folder. We go users and then we're gonna go slash whatever your username is. My username is Jake Fishman, so I want you to type in whatever your username is. Slash library slash application support slash crossover slash bottles. 
And then if we hit enter, you can see that we now have all of our Steam bottles within crossover in this folder. And I'll put in the description exactly what you guys need to type in just to get to this folder yourselves. Now, once we're at this folder, we want to open up your new Steam DXVK test folder that you just created. So we'll double click that, open it up. And then we're going to want to go to our drive C and open up our windows folder. Now from here, we want to open up our system 32 folder. And this is where the DXVK files are being held. And we went to go to this, uh, this new folder, use our current finder window. So we can just open up a new finder window, go to our downloads and get the latest DXVK files. And we're going to expand the X64 folder. We're going to highlight, click copy, and then we're going to paste these six items into the system 32 folder where all the other, you know, where the crossover DXVK files are being held. And we want to click replace for all of the files that we just put in there. So what we're just doing is we are taking the new DXVK and we are upgrading it within the crossover version. We're going to want to restart our crossover. Okay. Now that that's back open, we're going to get into our new steam DXVK test and we're just going to run everything like normal. All right, so now if you open up your game, it should be completely stutter free. As you can see in the top left corner of my game, um, you can see that it now says DXVK version 1.9.2. So that means we were completely successful, which is great. And now your game should virtually be stutter free, which is freaking awesome. And if you like the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to be doing a lot more cool stuff with the Mac. And speaking of cool things with your Mac, if you guys want to get this stuff in the top left corner of your games using crossover, I will have a new tutorial out on that coming out soon. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.